Hi there, Just for Sweets here. I am going to make a muffin in a jar. And I already have my muffin mix made from making a prior video. And all I wanted to do was show you how you could bake a muffin in a jar. And you could, I mean, the purpose behind it is so that you can, you know, put a lid on it and take it to work or take it to a coworker, or just give it to somebody that you want to have it or you know um, to keep them fresh you can leave it in there but just a way to take it on the go that's easier and can be fun and then a way to reuse your little mason jars so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I what I do and it's very simple preheat your oven to 375 degrees Use any size jar you want. I have a small one right now, and I actually have one pre-baked that I'll show you that was in a little bit of a bigger jar. Now the jar that I'm gonna show you at the end is probably the biggest size you should do, but this is a little tiny one, so grease that really well. Take your pre-made muffin mix or your homemade muffin mix, whatever you like, and like I said, I just made this, so it was perfect for me to, to do this video. And you're gonna wanna put it in the jar and fill it about three quarters of the way full, two thirds of the way full, if you wanna be able to put a lid on it, because remember, this is gonna rise a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and stick that in there. And then feel free to either stick some fresh fruit on top of this before you bake it, or some coconut, or some nuts, or anything you wanna do. I'm actually gonna add some coconut on the top of mine, because I love coconut. And I am going to add some blueberries. So I have some blueberries here, and I'm just going to get the little ones and go ahead and pop a few of those on top. And those are going to pop open in the oven and melt all over our, our coconut. Put as many as you want on there, depending on what kind of muffin you have. You can even put chocolate chips on top if you want. So we're gonna take this little guy and we're gonna stick him in the oven. And I would say with a jar this small, you wanna start out at about 15 minutes and check it. Make sure that it's not gooey on top, but you want, don't wanna overcook it either. And just kinda of push on the center to make sure your finger, it kinda of bounces back from where your finger touched it. So we'll start at 15 minutes and go from there. And then I'm gonna show you what the end result is because like I said, I have one already done. That in here and now this is the one I took out of the oven a little bit earlier and you can see I overflowed it a little bit I put a little too much in there but no worries because I'm more than happy to cut the top off and eat it if you wanted to seal it and go so you know you can cut that off if you want to put a lid on it I have the lid over here but this just shows you a muffin in a jar kind of fun, something kind of different. Reuse your jars, have fun with them. Um, put your lid on, you know, put a smiley sticker on it and send it with your husband or your child to school, work or whatever. Um, and just have fun with that. So it's just a fun little creative idea, something that, I don't know, you know, you don't, don't do on a daily basis, but just have fun with. So anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope this inspires you to do something fun like that and maybe get your kids involved. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. God bless and have a wonderful day.